Today on the channel, we have just reached a milestone. That's right. This video is my 100th uploaded video to YouTube. Yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah. It's quite a big accomplishment, especially for me. For me. So I want to thank everyone who has supported me, who has been with me, especially from the very beginning, all the way up to here. Say thank you for supporting the channel and helping out. I never thought I'd actually get this far. Our uploaded so many videos to YouTube and you guys actually enjoy them so that's good so I thought today that instead of um, doing certain projects on the 100th video that we would go and do an overlook of all the projects that we have running around here as you can see to my right here I have a Volkswagen sitting here it hasn't moved in a long time which we'll be discussing here in just a few minutes we'll talk about the old rusty truck we'll hit on the Ford tractor the Plymouth Duster and maybe the Goldwing here in a little bit so there's a lot of projects that we've had on this channel that's been going on. Some haven't seen the video, the YouTube channel in a long time. Some of them might be making a comeback here pretty shortly. So I thought I'd give you guys a little update on everything that's going to happen or going to happen. Where everything's been, you know, kind of like a, um, hey, where's this project been? Like the Volkswagen over here. It hasn't been seen for about over a year on the YouTube channel. So now it's coming back. Finally, so let me go ahead and show you all the project. We'll start right here with the Volkswagen All right guys, this is my 1973 Volkswagen Super Beetle. I've owned this car since I was 15 years old. I am now 32 I think I forget how old I am because I just don't care I just don't keep track of it anymore when you get older you just don't keep track of your age but Anyway, I had this car for a very long time. I have driven it. I think the wheels pretty much off this car I mean I literally drove this thing everywhere from Houston to Waco all the time to Pasadena which is about you know 100 miles round trip from Splendora all the time when I was working I mean I at least I know I guaranteed lease put almost 50,000 miles on this thing just during in college alone so I drove this thing quite everywhere and it was a fun little car to go everywhere I never had really too many problems and if I did have any problems I could always fix it on the side of the road all right that being said, I did have some problems with it here a while back with the motor. I was running a Jex motor, and they're just not very good motors to begin with, so I messed up back then when I used it. It worked for a good two or three years we run it, but it always had overheating problems. because of um, I think it was a, an aluminum case, and the original Volkswagens were magnesium. Don't hold me to that, that's what I think. But anyway, I always had overheating issues with this thing after driving for long periods of time. Now, if I would drive to work, come back home it would be cool it'd be fine it'd be perfect I could drive home no problem as long as I didn't stop anywhere <laughs> but anyway this project's been sitting up for a little bit longer than I'd like and so now it needs to get running and I need to run it so I can sell it unfortunately it's come time where I've gotten too many cars too many irons in the fire and it really it needs to go so the whole point of this fixing this we will do some videos with this thing getting it running getting it driving We'll have a little fun with it, and then we'll ship it on its way to hopefully a new home and a better home. Unfortunately, I know a lot of people are thinking, why, Cliff? Why would you get rid of your first car? Well, I've had this car sitting for years that I have not done a darn thing with. And honestly, I've seen people that hoard vehicles, hoard stuff, and that is the last thing I want to turn into as a hoarder. So I've, I've made a self-imposed rule about anything I ever own. If it sits for two years, I have never touched it, not even to open the door, or look at it, or wash it, not even looked at it, you know, anything. It's time for it to go. And by chances, if you haven't done anything in two years, you're just not going to do anything with it at all. And I've let this thing sit for over two years, got it running, drove it for a little bit, then the motor went out again. Come to find out that one of the oil passages in the, sil in the block was clogged up cause the number three cylinder to um, get hot the most common one that always overheats on a Volkswagen so now I have been given a new motor believe it or not I picked up a motor I'll show you guys a picture here and my neighbor was building a VW trike so if you see all the chrome on it what it was gonna be a show bike show engine and he recently just purchased a, a gold wing trike a 1500 gold wing trike so he has no longer needed the Volkswagen motor anymore. He decided that, and since he knew I've been hunting for a decent motor, I've been looking for a motor at, you know, five, 600 bucks that I could 
buy if it's running, drop in the car, you know, get it running within a weekend, and then boom, clean it up and have it ready for sale. So he has given me a motor. It's almost complete. It's it's all there. It's all brand new pistons. I was there when he built it. I helped him build it up a little bit, so I know the motor's good. It's all there. I mean, I'm going to have to trade out some accessories and stuff like that, but it's pretty much ready to go other than, you know, just getting there, all the little little tweaks done on it. So we're going to take his motor, put it in my car, and once I sell the car, I give him, I'll give him some money for the motor, whatever the amount we agreed on. I think it was $800 I'll give him because he's given me a lot of chrome and the pistons are brand new, the rings are brand new, all the bearings, I was there, the kit, I was there when he ordered the kit. In fact, I ordered the kit for him. It was a $600 kit, so I know it's quite, you know, it's a good, it's going to be a good stock motor. And we're going to try to run this thing probably back with the original carburetors and I'll keep the Weber and either sell it separately or use it for something else for another project that we might have. Because when I sell this, I'll probably still have a couple Volkswagen motors laying around that we can do something with for another time. But anyway, that is the story on this Volkswagen. We're going to fix it up and sell it. This thing, I'm just not driving it, not enjoying it anymore. It's time for someone else to enjoy it before it rots down or and the earth reclaims it. So that's my little thing on this. So you'll be seeing a lot of this here in the upcoming months, hopefully, when I get the motor all put back together and get it ready to drop in the car. All right, guys, this project doesn't really need an introduction. We all know this project. This is our old rusty the $300 truck that we picked up off of Facebook <laughs> and we are trying to get it road worthy and getting it looking a little bit better to sell the ZB our little flipper here and she has come a long way since the last time I did a video which was probably the last video video you guys saw but I gave you guys an update well I have done more work unfortunately I did not film a lot of it the rain has been very um, a lot of <laughs> tremendous around here it's just been crazy about how much it's rained and I had to do a lot of these repairs in the rain and my camera was not or my cell phone was not cooperating so I went ahead and did it, a lot of it so we'll go around the truck and I'll kind of go over just a little bit of the things I've done what I've done and what you know it's kind of new you'll see some new parts on here if it makes this truck look better so, all right guys let's go around the truck here as you can see I've already got the front brakes already fixed and working on this you can see you got new rotors new pads new wheel bearings i probably have to get a new cap there because i didn't realize those caps were damaged all right now i've gotten most of the lights working on this truck i have spent about i spent two days on that trying to get all these lights to work and i've pretty much got them almost narrowed down except for a few here which we'll go back make our way to the back here's where you'll see the next difference as you can see we have New tail lights. Yeah, look at that. If you remember, the black, the other ones were black with no chrome. These are chrome. And what happened was the old one had a crack through there. And water was getting in it. And it had actually corroded one of the connections. I actually had to spend some time cleaning it and getting it working again. And I got it working. So the reverse lights work. In fact, every light on this truck worked except for the hazards in the back and the brake lights. And I've got it pretty much narrowed down after about two days of... Cleaning grounds and cleaning connections and tracing wires back. I've got it down to the blinker switch. That's right, this little blinker switch here. It took me a while to figure it out, and I should have known better on these old trucks. But what I did was I accidentally bumped into this and happened to walk back with the hazard lights, and they were working in the back. And then I stopped it, did it again, wiggled it, and then it would work. And so then I realized that the blinker little turn signal switch is not working correctly and I'm hoping that will fix my brake lights as well because I believe everything goes through that switch part of the mess as you can see I've been doing a lot of electricals so some of the electricals are hanging down here because I've just been working on it and I'm too lazy to put it back right now but she has come a long ways I've actually driven the truck about four miles up and down the road and hopefully I'll have some footage of that here for you guys here in a later video but the transmission is working. It was a little rough, but it is getting better. It has definitely made some improvements. But we still have a long ways to go. That's why I decided to go ahead and do the Volkswagen. Because this project needs a lot more loving attention. And the Volkswagen doesn't really need a whole lot of love and attention. And for as far as I'm concerned with that. Just a motor 
and just to be driven around to make sure everything's good i think maybe i got to replace the mass cylinder in the volkswagen but this one i'll probably will have to place a mass cylinder because i you know it's somewhat working the fronts are working the back is bypassing and the back brakes are not working like they should i can see fluid coming out of the mass cylinder reservoir out of the back and it's just it's just so i'm pretty sure the um mass cylinder is bypassing or something as long as the front brakes are working i can still drive this thing up and down the road for right now so that's what i'm doing so far this project i think we're at a total of a little bit around 900 dollars, maybe a little bit over so overall not too shabby not too shabby she's coming out to be a pretty good truck she runs real quiet real quiet i mean she is silent so but we still got a long ways to go and all right guys now we're gonna talk about one of my favorite projects but i can't wait to actually get finished and that is my 74 plymouth duster yes you're looking at it unedited uncleaned and yes i know what you're thinking oh god cliff you're stacking stuff on top of it that's not a good sign well yes i know it but i'm limited on space you know any good mechanic or any guy who has a garage that likes to work on cars always has this problem where he's got too much crap and not enough space and uh, that is probably everyone's last story here but yes i've been working on a lot of other stuff and i've been using uh, sadly the duster as a um, place to put boxes for stuff and to get them out of my way and yes i need to clean it up and look a little bit better so in the last project you our last video you saw me with this that we started tearing it apart we took the wheels off and all that well i have done a quite a bit more didn't film a lot of it but um i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what we've done i was saving this for a video but i haven't had time for everything but as you can see i have ripped out the interior on this all right i got all the interior out because it was you know had gone underwater and it was nasty starting mildew even the headliners out and no it's not rusted up there it's just some of the insulation that the headliner had it was old and that's what that is but there's not hardly any rust i mean look at those floor pans i mean we have a little surface rust but no rust so those are some solid pans i mean literally look at all that it is solid which is going to make this job a whole lot easier and yes i have neglected this project here for just a little while i mean with everything else going on i hop around projects quite a bit and i'm sure you guys have probably figured that one out by now got so many going on i can't even keep track but like they say if you just keep working on a pro all these projects you know an hour a day or dedicate some time to it it will get done and you will make headway but yes you can see how far i've come along the dash is the next thing to come out i just i pooped out because it was a hundred and some degrees and you know at the time i didn't own that big drum fan and it was very hot sitting in this car even though i had all the doors open and everything was out of here it was just it's still no air circulation was coming in here and boy was it hot but i finally bought a drum fan so that way i can keep a little bit cool and have some air circulation it does help that fan helps it is i'll tell you what it's a lifesaver it was worth every penny i spent on that thing let me tell you but yes you can come out let me see if i can show you guys I, mo I put most of the material back here but you can see how nasty it was coming and getting and we're not going to reuse any of this but i want to show you i think if i got it ah right there my only rust hole one of the i think one of the two rust holes you can see right there and that's not bad seriously that can be fixed if that's all we got on on the pan issue so that part can be fixed but everything else is still good now i kept some of this trim stuff because you never want to get rid of it until you're done with the project or ever really and because we don't know if i'm gonna have to make my own interior out of some of these templates i know i can get some of them classic in industry so they're a little bit pricey who knows maybe they'll see this video and they'll send me some stuff so share this video to them and maybe they'll help out and i can advertise for them <laughs> but overall i mean they got some pretty cool stuff that i'd really like to have i just my pocketbook is just not big enough for their stuff right now <laughs> unfortunately but i've got a long ways to go before we're even ready to put interior back because i think we're going to go ahead and paint this and and yes i know some of you are looking at it goes cliff man you can just buff it yes i would if i didn't have 
a lot of that rust on these corners you can see this side's not the good side the other side's really eating up so i want to fix that before it gets worse and i also have some on the pillars i don't know if it's this pillar or the other pillar but yeah there's some rust i think the other pillar's kind of getting a little bit of so it's got a little bit of rust in the major areas so this one is still being worked on this project I know it looks like it's been gathering dust, but it really hasn't. I've been working on it on and off. It's just, it's been all really <laughs> busy trying to get everything else going. All right, guys, here is my gold wing, the one that you see in all the tutorial videos that I show people how to work on 1500s. And let me tell you, this thing is running great. I haven't really had any problems with it since we fixed our brakes. It's been running good, in fact, we got the Long Star Rally coming up here in a short while. I think it's somewhere early in November. So it will be going down to Galveston, definitely on Friday and Saturday. So if you're in the area and want to meet up and get to meet me and everything, let me know. I'll be more than happy to meet any of y'all. Yes, I'll have the missus with me. She will be going down. We will have some, a good time down in Galveston for the weekend. All right, All right let's move on to our last project. All right, guys, we're in the back of the garage here. You guys have probably have never been back here, but you can see under my little car awning here. And here she is, our tractor. As you can see, the Ranger's also back here as well. as because the duster kicked the Ranger out of its parking spot, so I don't like leaving cars out in the weather. I don't like it at all, but... So I put this one back here, and it's one of my nicer ones, so... I'd like to have at least have some protection for it. <laughs> but anyway... Here we go, here we have the tractor. Now the reason why you may see this come back on the channel is because we need to get the bumper put back on. That is a project that is coming up. That'll be a welding related project. I got a few of those doing a bumper of some sort. Haven't worked out the details, but this is why you would see this tractor come back. So it will make come back on the channel here one day. I don't know when, there's a lot of things ahead of it. Right now I'm still using it to mow grass but it will make its debut again on the channel hopefully maybe sometime next year in 2019 is what we're hoping for so i thought i'd let you guys know for those who've been interested in my old farm equipment they keep asking me about where it is well here it is i still use it the mow every all the time and it still runs strong for now it's uh it's good it's getting to the point where it's going to need a motor rebuild i did a compression test on it not too long ago and it's at the the minimum borderline i mean it's sitting there right there at a, if it goes any lower it's just not it's gonna have to be an engine total engine rebuild just about so it'll be a lot of work hopefully it'll hold out a few more seasons because i'd be devastated if i lost this because i don't have anything right now my push mower's dead i have a weed eater in this that's it <laughs> So. All right, guys, that is the update on our top five projects on this channel. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope your questions have been answered on some of these projects that we've got laying around. Some of them that haven't been seen for a while. Now you know, you've seen them. So there's going to be some work planned for them, so they will be making a comeback. As, you know, for the Volkswagen, it will probably be the one that you will be seeing the most of. The Duster will be still here and there. Old Rusty will still be here and there, and the Gold Wing will still be here and there. A tractor will be sometime probably next year, I'm hoping. <laughs> Nothing's been finalized, finalized yet, so we'll just have to we play this by ear, kind of like, you know, this whole thing. But that's, I kind of put out these estimates because I try to set myself to a, a goal here to have some of these going. So the Volkswagen is going to start making a comeback soon, very soon, because it's here. I, that's why I put it in front of me. So that way I would say it's time to finish the project, finally finish to get it done. So we will be doing a lot of that. Now, I want to apologize for all my regular viewers and subscribers. If you haven't seen me update videos in a while, it's because I've been really super busy. I picked up a part-time job. It keeps me kind of busy and I don't have time to film when I usually get home. I mean, sometimes it's really late at night or you know, I'm gone throughout most of the day or it's raining. That's been another thing when I do have some time. It's been rain, 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 rain. It just hasn't stopped raining here. Today, I mean, it even looks like it's raining, but I think it's going to be a decent, halfway decent, nice day today, which is good. It's, but, so I want to apologize. I don't know how often I'll be sending videos out. I'm going to still try to stick to my every, once a week type of deal, but it may be once or twice a month now. It just depends on how 
my work, a little work, part-time job because, you know, the holidays are coming up, trying to get some extra money, trying to help pay bills. So, you know, I, I don't have a lot of people bringing cars in anymore. They've just, people have kind of just stopped doing it. The first year I got laid off, I was making some good bucks doing some uh, mechanic work on the side. People were bringing them in and they've recently just stopped. They just don't have any money. Nobody does. So I've had to adapt to make ends meet and that's what I'll be doing. So if you see a lack of videos, I do apologize. I will still try to do my best for you guys and still try to do what I can. All right guys, so I hope you enjoyed it. I know this video wasn't, well, maybe to some of y'all it was super fun and update, you know, knowing where some of these projects stand and where we plan to go with them. But I do, these are real plans that I plan on doing. So we will get them going here. Just one day at a time, as I always say. A little at a time, one day at a time. So I'm going to leave you guys on that note, and I hope I'll see you here next time. And remember, guys, stay safe out there. Today's channel, we've just hit our blah, 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 blah.